hello guys welcome to my channel in today's video we are going to be drawing the copy isometry given right on the screen yep so first of all we are going to be drawing a straight horizontal line 18 one please we are going to be making use of thin lines throughout this drawing first before we taking it out then i'm going to pick my 30 60 degrees s square this is a isometric block and it's also having circle isometric also so i'm going to draw my straight vertical line first i want to draw the three axis this is going to be a short line then i'm going to draw towards my left hand side my right hand side then towards my left hand side like this also all right so now the first thing i'm going to do is to calculate the length this is 120 and this is 100 so at this point i'm going to pick 120 millimeter at this point here then i'm going to pick a 100 millimeter here okay like this now for the height we have been given to be what 20 so this is 20 at this point okay now at this point we have been given the height to be 100 millimeter all right so from here i'm going to draw a straight line upward which is going to be 100 millimeter then at this point i'm going to project towards my right hand side like this then also projects upward in this manner okay then i'll do that also towards my left hand side like this okay please ensure you are making use of thin lines now we have been given the thickness of this place to be what 20 millimeter so i'm going to pick 20 this is 20 at this point here so at 20 millimeter I'm going to what, draw a straight line upward from here. Okay, let's erase this. Okay, so now the height of this place is 100. So I'm going to pick 100. What we are doing first is to draw the this given isometric block first that is at the back before drawing this isometric of a circle. All right. So at that point of 100 millimeter, I'm going to project like this then I'm going to be finishing that up like this like this okay so since this is 100 this upper part also is going to be of 100 millimeter okay so this is 100 at this point so I'm going to draw this then move straight to this bottom here project and then project downward from here okay now we are going to join this together with our 30 60 degrees square it's going to be in this manner all right so we are done with drawing the isometric block okay so we want to draw the isometric of a circle here the first thing we are going to do is to find the center of this particular place we have been given this particular place length to be of 10 okay and the length here is of what is of 8 okay so i'm going to mark 40 here okay then i'm going to what mark 50 here right here okay so i'm going to do like this i'm going to divide that into two equal four equal halves in this manner please ensure you make use of thin line at this particular point make sure your line is very very thin okay like this that is the first thing you are going to do now we have been given the diameter of the circle to be what to be 50 millimeter so i'm going to pick 25 millimeter upward towards this part okay then i'll pick 25 millimeter upwards here also i'll do the same also for this particular place I'm going to be picking 25 millimeter here then i'll pick 25 millimeter here okay so i'm going to make an isometric box okay like this move downward also to this point draw this also please ensure you make use of faint line 
ensure you're making use of fin slime okay i've also done a video on how to draw isometric of a circle that is singled out so if you don't really get it here you can fall back to the video i'll drop the link in the description below okay so now the next thing you are going to do is to draw a straight line on the longest diagonal sorry on the longest diagonal which is going to be passing through this center okay now what we want to draw is this place okay is this particular place here so what i'm going to do is to pick my compass place it at this edge here all right then extend my compass to this particular place and then draw my curve okay i'll draw my curve let me take in that out immediately all right now we are going to be drawing this part also to end it here it is not yet complete so in order to do that we are going to pick our compass our ruler and our pencil sorry then from here i'm going to what draw a straight line to this point here okay let me just label here as point a b c d is a1 b1 c1 c1 and d1 all right this c1 here so this is point e1 and f1 all right so from this point this is going to be our point p1 here so on point p1 i'm going to pick my compass like this then then i'll draw like this okay so now we are going to also draw this place also so at this point also that's point f1 i'm going to draw a straight line to point a1 like this okay so this point at which it meets with the long with the diagonal line okay i'm going to what i'm going to draw like this to stop at this particular place here okay so now the next thing we are going to do is to project this particular line this four edges we are going to project it outward with the length of what 60 millimeter i've been given the length to be 60 millimeter so i'm going to pick my my set square which is my 30 60 degree set square i'm going to place it at this point first that's at point d1 then project outward place it at point a1 also project outward put it at c1 i'll project outward then move to b1 also on, on point b1 also going to do the same and project outward now we are going to join d1 to c1 like this let's measure our 60 first we measure our 60 so our 60 is going to be here so from point d1 to c1 i'll join that two point together like this all right then i'll join the c1 to b1 line in this manner like this okay then i'll join d1 line to a1 line this is a a1 line here like this all right then i'll do exactly the same for the a1 b1 like this okay so exactly what we did at the beginning here is what we are going to be doing here so we are going to what draw the longest diagonal which is the first thing we are going to be doing we want to draw this particular circle here okay now to divide it into two equal parts we are just going to pick our set square so from point e1 here i can easily mark this point all right then from this point here i can easily what mark this point here so that will make it easier for me to divide it without having to pick my my ruler and start measuring again okay like i said in the beginning the lines are going to be getting many so please ensure you are making use of thin lines ensure you are making use of thin lines so let me label this a2 this is b2 this is c2 and this is d2 okay so this is going to be e2 and f2 all right so this is our center for this place now to make it confusing okay 
this is our center point here okay so now what we are going to do first is to place our compass on c2 I'm going to extend it to this point okay then we are going to draw like this then we place it at point a2 here okay to f2 which is here then we draw all right like this now like exactly what we did at the beginning here we are going to do from c2 to e2 first this is c2 to e2 draw our straight line this is going to give me my point p2 let's put that point as p2 so at point p2 i'm going to take it to this point here okay which is e2 here then i'm going to join this together all right then i'm going to do from point f2 to a2 point f2 to a2 then i place my compass right here from year to year then i'll join like this okay so this is the isometric of the circle in the front now what we are going to do is to join this place this point here to this point okay so we we'll join here to here then this point to this particular point here like this Right. so this is the circle isometric which is right here now we are going to thicken out this part if you found value in this video please ensure to hit the subscribe button and share with your friends that might need this video or your classmates that might need this video thank you for watching i'll see you in the next video peace